going on, family? Tap in, tap in. Tap in. Tap the fuck in. Viewer discretion is advised. Bring a bill, bring a bill. Bring a bill, bring a bill. Tap in, y'all. Make sure y'all got a bill. Make sure y'all got a bill. Same information. Just a different day. All right, you may hear some shit different. All right, you may hear something that you didn't hear the other time I said it. Okay, and I like it's because all this stuff is repetitive. It's the same stuff, same stuff, over, 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 over. Same things like making a sandwich, the same bread, the same whatever meat you want to use, uh, and cheese, whatever. It's the same thing. Okay, so tap in, make sure y'all uh, tag somebody that's uh, stressing about bills, tag somebody that's happy that they paid all their bills up. Tag them on, tag them on, tag them on. We running it back, we running it back. All right, so yeah, so it's been a it's been a major week. Y'all had to spend some time with my kids, so I kind of been tapped out. Y'all DMs is looking goddamn crazy. All right, so we are gonna get to all that. We are gonna get to the ERC people. All right, we're gonna get we're gonna get to all y'all. All right, all right okay. All right, I'm gonna get to everybody. I just want y'all to know I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna get to you. All right, Miami going down this week. The yacht event is on Friday. All right, the tickets have not been on sale yet, but it's about to be on sale. So no tickets have been sold for the yacht. The yacht will be on Friday. Class will be on Sunday. Yacht Friday, class Sunday. Yacht Friday, class Sunday. Okay? All right, so yeah, make sure y'all tag some folks. Make sure y'all tag some folks. Make sure y'all tag some folks. You know, this is uh, this song is about uh, Eric Trilly. It's called Fourth Grade. A fucking banger. Okay, a fucking banger. All right, there's D8. Come on now, you're trying to get us, you're trying to get us hit up. All right, you're trying to get us hit up, Dez. You trying to get us hit up, Dez? Do you need an assistance? I got an assistant. I got to get some more assistance. All right, I got to get some more assistance, but I just don't trust everybody. The assistant I got right now, I, I, I trust her. So it's like. It's trust over everything, y'all. I rather, I rather things take long. I rather do things the right way and do it the long way rather than just trying to hire folks to put them. You know what I'm saying? Because I, a lot of folks give me their information. You see what I'm saying? So I can't just be having anybody. In. You see what I'm saying? A lot of folks trust me, so I can't have people put put in place that are untrustworthy. Because my name is on the line, my brand is on the line. All right, so. Yeah, that's what it is, y'all. That's what it is. So, um, yeah, make sure y'all get a make sure y'all get a bill. All right, make sure y'all get a bill. Yeah, so that's the only reason why I don't have things just flowing. You see what I'm saying? I just don't trust everybody. All right, and uh, and 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 it's more of a a, a one to one on one thing. Okay, it's not really like a group. <laughs> it's not a group thing, okay? So I have folks that call me that say, hey, this process worked. I was able to get my uh, deed for my house. I was able to get the uh, uh, car, uh, my title for my car. I was able to put my son through private school. All right, we're going to have um, one of my students um, due diligent, okay? All right, due diligent. She done got remedy multiple times, okay? So I'm going to have her on live uh, next week. All right, next week. Uh, she's going to tell about um, how she was able to um, get her son's tuition paid for. Private school, by the way. Private school, by the way. All right. So, yes. Yes, you can endorse your child's tuition. Yes. If you can endorse your, your student loans, you don't think you can endorse your kid's private school bill? You see, y'all, we're not thinking. We're not thinking deep enough. We just, because a lot of folks just worry about, oh, I'm just trying to get out my car. Oh, I'm just trying to get up my car. That's all you care about? It's a fucking car? That's it? That's all? You just care about getting out your rent? That's it? You don't got, like, you don't see no future in your kids, though? You see what I'm saying? So, yeah, make sure y'all get y'all bills, y'all. Y'all, going to be some lot of information on this right here. You may not even got to buy my course all right, if you can, oh, look, let me, hold on, let me shut the fuck up, okay, let me shut the fuck up, all right, let me be careful, see, I'm getting ahead of myself, okay, 
for the ones that's going to understand what I'm about to say during this live, okay, we might got to do two lives because they may give us a time of somewhere along the one hour mark. All right, so it's like this, y'all. Um, all right, um, make sure you follow along what I'm going to say on this live because I'm basically going to give you the answers, okay? I'm going to give you the motherfucking answers, okay? It's like, here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, like all, and, but again, you can give somebody the answers and that shit goes over their head and folks just think, well, you said in that last live, all I had to do was do that. And brother, they done shut my account down. Okay? They done shut my account down, brother. What, you, what am I supposed to do, man? They done shut my credit card down. That's how I pay, that's how I pay stuff. Nah, that's how I pay stuff. You know what I'm saying? I say, well, what did you read? Nobody reads anything. But this life, I'm going to give you the answers. I'm going to say, you know what? They say you can't lead a horse. They say you can uh, lead somebody to drink, but you can't make them drink. Some shit like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm basically putting y'all heads in the motherfucking water. Like, drink. You see what I'm saying? Like, we, we got to start force. Feeding people information. You see what I'm saying? Like, because I started thinking about it. We get force fed bullshit all the time. You see what I'm saying? We get force fed bullshit all the time. So, why we can't force feed real information? Folks be trying to tell me, hey, man, you be going a little too hard on people. Man, you can't force this information on nobody. And I'll be like, why the fuck not? Why not? Hmm? Why can't I lead this horse to water and then throw the motherfucking horse in the damn pond? All right? Make that motherfucker drink. Okay? I bet you he might be coughing and shit when he get up, like getting all the water out. But hell, he, he done drunk something. You know what I'm saying? He done got a dose of the info. Okay? So I, I, I truly believe we need to start philosophy. We, we need to start slapping people with info. Be like, yo, shut the fuck up. 12 USC 1431. Hey, 70-year-old, shut the fuck up. Uh, 18 USC 8. Hey, ma'am, shut the fuck up. Federal Reserve Act, Section 16. Uh, hey, sir, yeah, I seen that you should do. I think you should shut the fuck up. Okay? All right? All right? You know why I think you should shut the fuck up? Because, uh, Federal Reserve Section 16. And if they play with you, Federal Reserve Section 29. All right, now we're going to go over all that today, y'all. We're going to go over all that today. Grand, this may be a long live, okay? Welcome to Sunday service. I know we did this kind of late, okay? And I want to grace y'all with this gift as you lead yourself into another work week, all right? I want every time you go to work, I want you to feel like, man, I can't wait so I ain't got to come back to this motherfucker. I want you to say that every time you walk, because it's going to be a day. There's going to be a day, Okay? That you gonna wake up and be like, damn, what I wanna do today? My fucking bills is endorsed. Alright, I got some money in my bank. Alright, god damn, what I wanna do? Shit, I ain't never had this type of free time before. Right, I want everybody to feel that moment, okay? I know I sound like a and I and I hope y'all ain't falling for the motivational shit, okay? Cause I'm not a vote, I'm not a spiritual guy. Alright, don't follow me for no spiritual. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Fuck no. All right, so this is what it is. All right, make sure y'all go ahead and get y'all bill out. All right, make sure y'all get a bill. It don't matter what the fuck bill is, y'all. Now, you granted, we always get people to say, hey, does this work with this? All right, so can people in the congregation please turn to thy neighbor and inform the uninformed new neighbor, okay? All right, it's too many of you that know the answer to a lot of shits. Now, granted, the confidence is a whole nother situation. A lot of y'all know way more than what y'all think. Y'all just overthink shit. You know what I'm saying? It's because you don't have any confidence. A lot of y'all didn't have confidence in high school. You didn't have confidence in middle school. You didn't have confidence in elementary school. All right? And now you think because you have a good paying job that all of a sudden you just this confident motherfucker. No, you're not. Because to be real with you, you're nothing without that job. You're nothing. How many of y'all hold y'all jobs on y'all? Oh, yo, you know I'm a... Uh, I'm the uh, regional manager. I'm the motherfucking regional manager of the manager society of the association. How many of y'all hold y'all cloaks on that shit? Now, I'm not talking to anybody that works in healthcare, 
anybody that works with children, anybody that works with, you see what I'm saying, any of those people. All right, but I'm talking about y'all that ain't. Shh. What? Chill. Chill, Bill. Okay, so we're going to, uh, this this live is also going to be talking to all my ERC uh, clients that have received your verification. If you have not received your verification and it has been longer than eight weeks, okay, shoot me a DM. I'm going to get to it, okay, because we're going to have to get those verifications sent back out to you. Now, for those that did receive a verification and you already did what you were supposed to do, all right, I want you to hit me up because I have a number that I want you to reach out. Okay? All right? So, that's for my ERC, you know, that's the you know, that's the secretive bunch, you know. That's the okay. All right, the cool kids. Okay? <laughs> the cool kids. All right, the cool bunch. All right, so uh back to the main portion of this live. We're going to get to the ERC at the end, y'all, so stick with me. All right? Um yeah, ERC, all right, yeah, yeah, employer retention credit. Um, but go on irs.gov before you ask, well, what is that? What is that? You know what I'm saying? You go on irs.gov and just type in ERC and see what it is, all right? Uh, so, yeah, let's start Let's start the class, y'all. Class is in session, okay? Damn, I do not got my damn lighter. Well, I'll be damned, okay? All right, so guess no. Uh, okay. All right, no, no smoky smoke, smoke. All right, okay. So this is what it is. All right, so go ahead and get y'all bills out. All right, when you have your bill out, go ahead and say here. When you get your bill out, go ahead and say here. No, you don't need a notice of cure template, brother. You don't need no templates. If anybody say they need a template, they're just saying, hey, I need someone to think for me. At. So yeah, that that ain't what you want, family. You want to, you are the template, brother. Or is that a sister? I don't know if who that was, but you are the goddamn template. All right? You are the template. Your notice secures whatever you fucking put on a piece of paper. All right, we're going to get to that. All right, so go ahead and let me know you're here when you have your bill. Just so folks know, I'm not just on here with this motherfucker talking. All right, a lot of folks been asking me, man, you probably be paying them people that be saying here, do you really think I'm paying all of these people on here that's got their bill out? If you believe that, just go get your fucking bill. All right, go get your fucking bill. Go in the motherfucking draw that everybody got the draw with all the motherfucking bills. Everybody got it. Don't act like you ain't got it. All right. Now some people are like, well, I don't have bills. Well, you got some type of draw that just got some old bills. All right, just go, go, go over there to your draw. Go and just whip out an old bill, overdue bill. It don't. It doesn't matter. All right, it doesn't matter, y'all. It ain't no lose. It ain't no losing, y'all. It's no losing with this. All right, it's no losing with this. All right, yo, go get all them. You say you got a million of them? Hell yeah. You need to. You need to spread them motherfuckers on your bed and start swimming in them bitches. All right, you need to start swimming in the bills. That's that's credit. Y'all know how people be swimming in Federal Reserve notes. You need to line all your bills up and start swimming in them. All right, we've been looking at them wrong. Yeah, they shut your account. Oh, yeah, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, Josh? Josh, they said, fuck you, pussy. What you gonna do? We shut your shit down. What you gonna do, Josh? Yeah, we seen your endorsed bill. What you gonna do? We shut your shit down. Now what, Josh? Yeah, Josh, you went around that corner and they stomped on you. What you gonna do next? Yeah, they not gonna pay you nothing. If that's what you waiting on, Josh, they not gonna pay you a dime, bro. Oh, man. Oh, no, brother, no, no. Right, you gotta learn. You gotta sue them, because until you do, Josh, they gonna close you out that account, and they gonna keep collecting on that account. All right, so I'm just letting you know. All right, they 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 not here to play, brother. I'm trying to let you know they gonna. You can say you gonna sue. You it's ninety nine percent of people say they gonna sue. All right, and only one percent really know how to sue. So the question is, Josh, do you know how to sue? Because that's not something you just learn overnight, brother. You see what I'm saying? All right. So, yeah, all right. Make sure y'all get y'all bills out. Make sure y'all get y'all bills out. Make sure you get your bill out. Make sure you get your bill out. When you have your bill, say here. We already got the people that say here. All right. For the for our brothers and sisters, y'all go ahead and help Josh out. All right. I know some folks that are uh, a little step ahead of Josh that have went through the same thing as Josh. All right. So, y'all help him out. Help him out. 
All right, so this is what it is. All right, we have the bills out right now. Can everybody just put down the balance that you see on the bill? We about to do some sorcery, y'all. We about to do some uh some uh sorcery. Welcome to Harry fucking Potter. Welcome to Hood Harry Potter, goddamn. We about to do some damn sorcery. All right, go ahead and get your goddamn pen out. All right, yep, we about to do it. Yep, get your motherfucking pen. Get your. This is not legal advice. All right, this is not legal advice. I'm not an attorney. I'm just a motherfucker on Instagram talking. And y'all can follow me if you want. All right. Follow at your own discretion. All right. I fuck it. But I, uh, we about to be Oprah today. Okay. With a, besides the weird shit. All right. We about to be Oprah today. Okay. So go ahead and post print. What do you see on the face of the bill? God damn. Somebody said 100,000. Oh, no. They said 100,000. I'm like, okay. All right. Well, you got some. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. All right. I want all y'all to. Yes. All right. Confess your sins. <laughs> As the good book would say, confess your sins. All right. Because we about to turn this sin. All right. Into a motherfucking credit. All right. Make sure you get a pen out. Make sure you get a pen out. If you don't got a pen, please get a scrap sheet of paper out. All right. Okay. Yes. Yes. We feeling like Oprah minus the weird shit. Okay, hallelujah, yes, okay, yes, all that, yes, yes, all that, 29,000, okay, keep posting them, keep posting, everybody, can we please do as a group, you feel me, we, we putting all this energy in a pot, you feel what I'm saying, and Instagram be like, what the fuck is going on over there, the hell is going on, you see what I'm saying, yo, we gotta crack this bitch, we gotta crack this motherfucker, do y'all not over? Do y'all not understand that? Okay. All right. We are here to defend the motherfucking Constitution. Okay. All right. Confess what you have been receiving. All right. Because today, all right, you gonna get blessed today. Whatever you believe in, Allah, Jesus, Jacob, Yakub. Okay. The tree, the sun, the animals. All right. Spirituality. Okay, it doesn't matter, all right? Okay, you're going to get blessed today, all right? Because the beautiful thing about this, it doesn't matter what your religion is because you can pray to anything in the world. Your bill is going to look exactly like your neighbors who don't give a damn about who you pray for, okay? All right, so we're here to talk about business, people. I'm not here to tell you about your damn religion. All right, stop bringing that in public. Religion is private, all right, whoever you pray to, keep that private. All right, but right now we talk about business. All right, nothing going to crack out the motherfucking sky. Okay, it ain't going to be 40 virgins waiting on you when you die. All right, you still going to be receiving that motherfucking bill. Okay, so until then, all right, let's handle the necessary business at hand. All right, so go ahead and get your pen out. I want y'all to go ahead and get these old ass bills. It's overdue, all right, because it's right, right. Regardless that it's overdue, you still need to endorse it. All right, okay, all right, okay, okay. So we got our bills out. Everybody's participating. Wonderful, okay. For those that are beginners, those that are just looking at my face right now, laughing. As you see, people are ahead of you. All right, I'm a I'm an athlete, and I was always taught if you're not putting in the work, your competition is putting in more work. You see what I'm saying? So when you're not doing it, you're seeing somebody else do it. All right, yo, trust me, somebody else's remedy is not your remedy. All right, so I would highly advise you go get a bill, go get whoever you beside. It only matter if you at your friend house. Be like, yo, friend, go get a bill. Yo, yo, we at your mama crib. Your mama got some old bills in here. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, can we can we see it? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, yo, y'all sitting that y'all sitting beside somebody right now. Over, hold, hold up in your phone. You around people like, hey, y'all, let's get our bills out right quick. You know why? You know why? Okay, because you a fucking agent. You an agent. You don't even know you an agent. You like these police officers that don't even know they're going against the grain. I got pulled over one time. I said, I asked the uh, officer, are you a pirate? The, the officer said, "Ar." She was trolling. I was like, oh, oh. I was like, you, I said, do it again. 
She was like, Arr. I said, do you not know you're on camera? I said, yeah, we're all on camera. I said, oh my gosh, thank you. Thank you, Lord, for, for they not know what they do. I got this on camera. But anyway, anyway, I'll be having impulses just like that, my bad. Okay, because y'all don't really understand how far this goes. When you're the only informed one and you're watching them commit fraud and they don't even know what they do. Oh my gosh. Man, I'd be so happy when I see them blue lights behind me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm like, oh, yes, yes. Because I already know what they pulling me over for. I already know, but that's enough comment. All right, stick to your bill. Stick to your bill. All right, for all y'all that have basically displayed the balance that's on your bill, okay? All right, the ones that just displayed the balance on your bill, okay? Do you see a negative in front of it? I'm going to ask two more times. For those that have, that see the balance on their bill, do you see a negative on it? One more time to lock it in because you know in sorcery, you gotta say three things. You gotta say things three times for it to lock in. Remember, we're in the we're in the realm of Harry Potter. Okay, so for the last time, do you see a negative in front of that number that you see right now? As the beginners that are in this room right now, as you can see, the people amongst us are saying no, no. There's no negative in front of this bill that I've been paying on for damn near all my damn existence of being able to have bills. Can any, does anybody on here right now have a negative on it? And here's the answer for you that have a negative in front of it. I bet you at the bottom it says do not pay. I bet you if they have a negative in front of it, it says do not pay. Okay. All right. But for y'all that don't have a negative in front of it, we're talking about you right now. All right. So for y'all that don't have a negative in front of it, okay, I want you to get a scratch piece of paper out if you can. All right. I want you to, I want you to. Okay, so yeah, you want to get some uh, get some scratch piece of paper out, and I want you to write down the word accepted. Accepted. I want you to write down the word accepted. Oh, you yeah, uh, five a hustle. You said I have a negative 3000 plus on my spectrum bill, and that absolutely says do not pay. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. Like, and I don't got no bills in front of me that say negative. I just know what the motherfuckers, I know what they are. You know what I'm saying? I know what they is. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's just what it is. Like, facts is facts. Two plus two is four. All right? So, if it says negative and when they pay it, me it's already paid. Okay, so what does it mean when it's positive? Because, you know, we just go to work. A lot of y'all going to go to work tomorrow. A lot of y'all going to hit the clock tomorrow. And I'm not saying this for y'all to quit y'all jobs, okay? I'm just saying this so you can start creating your escape plan. All right, you can start creating your escape plan. All right? Now, granted, we're not demeaning. We're not downing anybody that works, okay? I've worked before, okay? I'm, you, you didn't know, okay? We didn't know this, all right? But now you know. Now, that's why I ask people, would you be doing what you do right now? Would you do it for free? A lot of 99.9% .9 of people say, no, I would not do my job that I do for free. I'm only doing it for the money. Meaning, you're doing something for some money so you can pay an already paid bill. So, do y'all kind of see the insanity right there? Can I just get somebody to say, yes, I see it? I just wanted to make sure I ain't the only one that's... Because I know I talk kind of fast and people think I'm just a fast talking pimp or something like that. Uh, but every, do everybody understand that? Did everybody get the insanity? Going to work, clocking in, 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, going home, tired, sleep, wake up, do it again for 5 days because you got to hit that 40-hour mark. And some of us, we we put it on our, 
We wear it on our damn uh, badge like, yo, I only want overtime. I don't want to do nothing. Look, that was me. I was like, yo, I can't. I don't make no money for no 40. I need, I need 80. I need 84. I need them 12s. That was me. I was like, yo, I need them 712s. I need 84. I need that. I need that overtime. I know how it is. Yo, that was me. Straight up. Some of y'all probably said no. Like, shit, I need that overtime. I can't do nothing with no 40 hours. I can't do nothing with that. <laughs> Whole time, like, you ain't supposed to do nothing with nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you supposed to be doing something with that bill. You ain't supposed to be going outside yourself to find something that's already inside. Okay? All right? So, meaning, we're going to work. Bam. Clocking in. Ha, ha, ha. Going home. Going to sleep. Waking up. Doing it again for five days. All right? Friday comes. Oh. <gasps> Thank you, God damn, I'm about to turn up. I'm about to get drunk as hell. Shit with a freak set, man. I'm about to, God, shit, I got, man, because I got two days of goddamn go hand because I got to be right back at this motherfucker on Monday. Some people get paid weekly. Some people get paid bi-weekly. Okay? So, meaning, as soon as you get that paycheck, where that money go? To a that you didn't even look at. You didn't even look at the bill that you've been paying on. They done tricked you into auto bill pay. How many of y'all done took the discount so you can get auto bill pay? Come on, come on, come on, Ford. Just say, ah, you ain't got to be ashamed. Come on, y'all. We, we all in this together. All right, what was that song that was on Disney? We all in this together. Don't you see? Come on, Ford. All right, who, who took the discount? Who, who got hit with the, hey, if you sign up for auto bill pay, we'll take off five or ten dollars. Come on now, come on, just say I. Just say I. We just need one person to say I. All right, there we go. Like, just be real with it. Just be real with it. All right. Okay. We, we, you know what I'm saying? I, 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 I don't think I ever did that before. All right, because I just never wanted them motherfuckers going to my bank account. Like, I always felt like, yo, that shit wouldn't feel right. Like, y'all just going into my shit when y'all want. I want to pay you when I want to. If I owe you motherfuckers, so what? That's how I always looked at. So I never was on auto bill pay. But I was always like tricked into, yo, we can save you $10. If y'all say, what the fuck is $10? Like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? So now when I open new accounts, they'll try to hit me with, hey, sir, if you sign up for auto bill pay, I said, nah, Roger. Uh, I'm an ex-victim of auto theft, uh, from uh, identity theft, so I don't do anything online. Um, I only gave you guys an email just so y'all can send my documents to, but I don't use it. I do everything through mail. So I'll go ahead and waive all the discounts, all the, the whole script that you got for me, Roger. All right, I'm waiving all that, brother. I'm going to go save you the time. All right, so I'm not, you don't got to pitch it to me. I don't care if it's $10, $5, 25 35 45 55, it doesn't matter, Roger. All right, I don't want it. Okay, send me that bill. Because the reason why I'm asking for that bill, I hope y'all are reading between what I'm explaining to you right now. I hope y'all not thinking to yourself, when is he going to get to the information? When is he going to get to the information? Your mind is so cloudy. If I could just literally read some shit to you, I'm going to sound like Shakespeare. All right, so I'm going to write it over your fucking head. All right, so did we got we to gotta go to a lower level. Because we got to be real with ourselves. A lot of us are minors. A lot of us are minors. A lot, a lot, of, a lot of us don't know shit. And sometimes we got to be told that, hey, man, listen, brother, you don't know shit, so shut the fuck up. All right, you don't know shit. Okay, so pull the chair up and come learn some shit so you can bag your chair out and then go out and go, re go retail whatever the hell you've been telling. All right, go give some truth. You feel what I'm saying? Sister, go give some goddamn truth. All right. OK. All right. So this is what it is. OK. On your bill, family, that you've been working for to pay. All right. The reason why we're looking at it right now. All right. Is because that's the first steps of overstanding what's going on. Actually looking at the exact bill of exchange that they sent to you. All right. Y'all, that's a that's a that's a I want you to look at that. If you had that. Same number inside of a bank account. All right. I want you to look at your bill accounts the same way as an individual bank account. All right. So this is what it is. If you see it like a bank account, I want you to visualize it. All right. If this bill is $20,000 and if I seen this $20,000 in my bank account, would I be able to A, use it 
Or B, would that be what I have to pay on? I'm going to explain it two more times. All right. If I have a bill that says $20,000, or let's say, let's, just, let's just say something smaller. Let's say the bill is $1,500. All right. Let's say I seen that $1,500 inside of a, uh, uh, in a, a bank account somewhere. Right. Let's just say that $15 was by itself in this bank account. All right. Let's say, all right, what can I do with that money right there? A, can I use it? Or is that money that I have to pay on? All right, because you should be looking at your bills exactly like a bank account. Because we're dealing with, drum rolls please, accounts. You see what I'm saying? They just don't call it bank accounts. But we're dealing with accounts. All right, on the bill, do y'all see where the account number is? Say yes when you do. Say yes when you do. Say yes when you do. Do you see an account number somewhere on that bill? Do you see an account number somewhere on that bill? All right. Thank you, Tracy. Thank you. All right. Yes. 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 All right. Hopefully everybody is following along because somebody else's remedy is not your remedy. Okay. These same people that you're going to see in the comments one day are going to be the same ones that's going to have remedy one day. And you're going to be like, damn, bro, I see you. Damn, you done came up so quick, bro. I'm proud of you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? You know what I'm saying? So just like this. Uh, uh, that number that you see on that bank uh look at me calling it bank account because that's what it is. That's how I already done wired myself. I done rewired my brain. I done rewired my 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 visual, like my sight, how I look at shit. I done rewired all that shit. So I'm saying so I really have to when I hop on here, I be having to remember to tap into my old self, like, oh damn, I'm saying too much. You know what I'm saying? But the account is really a bank account. But your account number that you see. All right, the invoice number, invoice or account number. The invoice number is linked to the account because no invoice number, no account. You see what I'm saying? So it's all the same. They might try to trick you and shit. The policy number is the account number. Yeah, they'll try to trick you. They'll try to trick you. Policy number is the account number. They'll try to trick you. All right? All right? I'll be having folks to tell me, oh, well, my my rent, why rent that don't, doesn't have an account? Then I'll be like, well, what the fuck are you paying on then? How you not, what you, what you mean you don't have an account? Like, let's just stop and think for a little bit, all right? Because a lot of us don't be thinking. We just be talking, hey, I don't see no account. We don't have no account. Why stay here? Like, what? Hey, what the fuck are you paying on it? They be like, yeah, they just, they just take it from us online. Well, what do you go to online to go pay it? Yeah, I got I to gotta, uh, sign into ClickPay. Okay, so when you go into ClickPay, don't you have to sign into an account? Yeah. Oh, okay, then. That's the account. What is the number that's linked to that account? Then like, oh yeah, you're right, bro. And folks be wasting time. And folks think I could, I just have time to get every individual person. Oh yeah, brother, you gotta go see that. Oh yeah, brother, you gotta, yo, you gotta think for yourself because if you can't think that minute, you know what I'm saying? Like it's like, you might as well put this information down. This ain't for you. All right, this ain't for everybody. I just want everybody to understand that this information isn't for everybody. Even though everybody's gonna try this. All right. It's not for everybody. All right. So, yeah. So that number that you see on the account number uh, or on the bill and that you're looking at right now. So we have located two things. We have located the principal's balance, the number that you see. We have located the account number. That's the principal's account number. So we've located two major things right now. Y'all Y'all have learned something that a lot of people will never learn, okay? A lot of people are trying to correct statuses and shit like that. A lot of people is trying to go authenticate birth certificates. And none of that shit has anything to do with the bill that's coming in on the first of the month. Okay? It has nothing to do with nothing. Man, you know, somebody's going to definitely have a battery on their back tonight. They're going to send their shit in tonight. And have this shit cut off next week. <laughs> that is that fast. <laughs> you better ask somebody that did it. All right? They're going to they gonna send their shit in and say, well, bro, you said send this. I said, yeah, I did say send that. And I said, they're going to step on your motherfucking necks if you don't have no backup plan. So, again, y'all better keep paying. I'm not telling nobody to stop paying. They're going to step on your motherfucking neck. You think they scared of some goddamn paper that you just learned? Huh? Huh? 
Because I, I like playing the other side's advocate. Because I'll be like, yo, if you send me that paper, man, I'm like, what the fuck is this? Man, sh- man shut his shit off. Want to send me this goddamn paper? Man, shut his shit off. Okay? Sh- shut John's shit off. Send me this shit. Shut his shit off. And see if he, let's, let's see if he know how to fight. He can, t- he can do all that talking all day. Let's see if he know how to fight. I don't give a fuck how much he paid for the goddamn class. All his shit was right. It was right. I ain't going to cap. His instructions was right. But tell him no, and we shut his shit down. Fuck him. Now what? That's why I ask people, like, what you going to do now? You can't come back to me and say, oh, hey, they come back. Like, all right, get your ass back there and fight. That's how I beat my kids. You can't, you got your ass beat. Oh, hey, get your ass back there and fight. No, oh, you ain't, I ain't about to hold your hand and say, who beat me? Who, who hit him? <laughs> who hit this adult? Get your ass out there and fight. You better have some squabble about yourself. No, y'all thought y'all was just gonna send some shit out and just oh, well I thought it was gonna happen. You said, uh, you said, uh, you said, and I also said they was gonna step on your motherfucking neck. You didn't hear that part? Oh, you were just thinking about your bills. You were just stressed. You know, I was just trying to get out my bills. You know, I, I, I think they say I, I don't give a fuck about your goddamn bills or your goddamn stress. What they say in life, you don't give a damn about your uh, uh, medical assessments. Y'all remember on life when dude couldn't say what the, uh, he said, that lazy jigaboo said he tired, boss. He said the state of Mississippi don't care nothing about his, uh, uh, physiological assessments. They don't give a fuck about your stress. Your grandma could have died. Now, my condolences. All right. But you get I'm playing, I'm playing devil's advocate. Again, I'm the good guy. All right. Now, my condolences if they die, but I got to act like them right now. Fuck your grandma. The fuck? Fuck her. The hell? Don't give a fuck. Yo, grandma died. You better pay this motherfucking bill. The hell? Who the hell is the power of attorney over this motherfucker's estate? Give a damn about your damn grandma. Give a fuck about no goddamn cancer. She should have ate better. Give a fuck about that. The hell? You better pay this motherfucking bill by the 7th. I know that. Or we coming to get your shit. I know that. I know that. All right, and now they will never tell y'all it like that, okay? But that's how I feel when they send me letters back and say, unfortunately, we cannot accept this form of payment. I'm, I look at them like them saying, nigga, fuck your mama. Pussy, fuck you. Fuck your mama. Fuck your granny. Oh, you said she died? Fuck her. Right, that's, how, that's how I take it. I'm like, oh, these, oh, these motherfuckers want to fight. Okay, I right, bet. All right, all right. Okay. Okay. And you got to remember, this is not like the streets. So you can't just pull up on somebody and go whoop a CFO ass. <laughs> they ain't how it's going to go down. So meaning you got to get smart. Meaning you got to sit back and be like, okay, I'm mad as fuck. All right, let me put this in documentation form. All right, let me put this in law form. But let me make sure they feel my wrath in, in law terms. Now I got to go learn law. Y'all sending documents saying, give me my money back. I'm the original credit. They like, pussy, shut up. Shut the fuck up. Who the hell you writing to? You better keep paying the goddamn note before we come get that motherfucking car. I know that. And you better hope we don't got no chip on it. We gonna shut that bitch down. The hell? Folks saying, well, I just have so many kids. I just really want to get that. I be really wanting to say, you know, I'm a good guy. So I be, I be telling the women, I'm like, ah, oh, queen, this is a perfect time for you to learn this. You need to learn this. I, got, I get a lot of moms that tell me, hey, I really need this info because I got so many kids. Because I be, I be in my mind, I be like, I don't give a fuck about how many goddamn kids you got. You think them kids care about how many kids you got? You think them bills care about how many kids you got? The fuck? But you know I'm a good guy. I'll be like, yes, yes, goddess. Uh, yes, you need this information because you need to be a pillar, goddess. You need to be a pillar, goddess. You need to lead them babies out of the darkness. Okay? You need to lead them babies. But what I really be thinking is, I don't give a fuck about your kids. Where the fuck they daddies at? Give a fuck about how many goddamn kids you got to deal with? The hell? Don't give a fuck about that shit. Oh, I have some brothers tell me, you know, I got all these kids, bro. You know, I really need this information. It'll do so much wonders for my family. And wah, 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 w
Brother, either way, you can send me your course now and I just pay you after. I'm like, oh, there it go. Oh, shit. God damn, there it go. You got, he, he tried to slide it in there. He tried to hit me with the okie doke. Okay, I've been doing this for too long, y'all. I've been doing this for too long now. All right, your emergency. Who? Oh, your credit healer. Yes, your emergency is not my emergency. Okay? Your emergency is not my emergency. I be having a lot of folks say, hey, brother, I got 24 hour notice on my door. What can I do? I be like, oh, 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 go read. <laughs> they be like, I need something now. I'm like, uh, I, okay, I got, I got a good plan for you. You can go read. Okay? Uh, do you got the money to pay? So you can live another 30 days? They be like, no. I said, okay, what have you did to this point? So you expect me to get out of my comfortability, come down to your emergency level, and goddamn say what? They don't give a fuck about me neither. They gonna be like, who the fuck is this man, some motherfucker? The hell? Folks be coming to me like I'm their goddamn bodyguard or something. Like, I'm gonna call it, hey, you just shut my student's account down. Open it back up. Like, who y'all think I am? <laughs> No, I'm not. I I thank y'all for looking at me like that, but y'all, it's <coughs> okay. Y'all got a super battery on y'all back right now. Okay, super duper battery. Okay, so this is what we gonna do. All right, we're gonna learn how to endorse our bills tonight. Okay, and we're gonna find out things we can read so we can connect the goddamn dots. Now, if you can't do that, you don't deserve remedy. And I had to understand that a lot of y'all don't deserve remedy. I, a lot of y'all don't deserve respect. I know that sounds crazy as hell because we've been taught, hey, we got to respect everybody. But no, 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 okay? A lot of y'all don't deserve respect. You don't respect no process. You don't respect no, no, kind, of, uh, no kind of rules and regulations. All right, you don't respect anything. All right, so why do you think you're going to get respect? All right, a lot of y'all don't deserve remedy. All right, I, and I'm going to say this. I might sound like the biggest hater ever, and I just don't give a fuck. All right, I hope nobody that puts the, the proper work in, I hope they never get remedy. Yes, I'm putting that into existence. I hope no. I hope the person that's not reading, I hope they never get remedy so they can learn the hard way. All right, because a lot of us had to learn for hours on end, had to piece the shit together, had to get told no, had to go to court. You see what I'm saying? And a lot of y'all running from the action. Y'all asking me stupid shit like, oh my gosh, I didn't know we really had to go to court. I'm like, what the fuck you thought we was doing here, playing fucking patty cake? The hell you thought we was doing, M Madeline? Madeline from UK. What do you thought we was doing here in America? You thought this was a, what the fuck? Uh, what? Madeline, come on. The hell? That shit didn't even make half sense. That woman said, I didn't know we had to go to court. Oh, you didn't know we had to go to, what do you think we were doing? Oh, I didn't know. I just thought we was, I, you thought what? Man, you thought what? And I be hoping these women, men, don't be listening to me. Because I be getting loud with these women. I be like, man, what are you talking about? And I know they men probably don't even talk to them like that. And I be, I be hoping no man like, hey, bro, you ain't got to talk to my woman like that. I be like, shit, shit you too, motherfucker. <laughs> Both of y'all in the form. The hell? You need to hear this talk too. Okay? All right, now, I can't beat everybody up, and I'm not sitting here saying I can. I, I'm, not, not, I'm not saying that, okay? I'm not saying line up at my event shooting wars. I, I'm not saying that. All right, well, I'm, I'm not about to back down, okay? And when I see somebody needs to be talked to like this, everybody doesn't get it in a proper way. Y'all know what I mean? People that hasn't been disciplined when they was a child, and it shows. Somebody raise their voice a little bit. Y'all get scared as hell. Like, oh, my gosh, I can't, I can't think. I'm shutting down. Oh, my gosh. Oh my gosh! My dad yelled at me when I was little. Don't do that. You're triggering things. I'm like, well, I don't know what to fucking tell you, goddamn. What the fuck you want me to do? I ain't your fucking daddy. Okay, what you what you want me to do, Karen? Hmm? What you want me to do?
you want me to do? All right, it, it's frustrating, Karen. It's frustrating, okay? It's frustrating to not be able to raise my voice when I feel like it's a necessary moment to raise voices and eventually and sometimes throw a little cuss word in there. All right? A lot of y'all haven't been coached before. All right? A lot of y'all haven't been coached before, and it showed. A lot of y'all didn't make the basketball team and the football team because you can't, you wasn't coachable. The coach said, get on the line and run. You you, you, you had a whole hissy fit. You're like, man, I ain't motherfucking running. I'm too street for that. All right. The hell? The, the fuck did you talking about? What the hell? The fuck? The hell? The hell? The fuck? They got me running this shit. Nigga, fuck them. I'm a street nigga. The hell? They don't, I mean, nigga, I don't lay it down. Nigga, what the fuck you talking about, man? Fuck this nigga. It wasn't coachable. A lot of y'all women was too too girly. You couldn't get wet. You couldn't sweat. Oh, I don't want to sweat out my makeup. Because you was trying to get boys in high school. I'm going to get off the point, but let's stay on our bills. Let's stay on our bills. All right, get your bill out. All right, on your scrap sheet of paper, I want you to write accept it. Okay, I want you to write accept it on your scrap sheet of paper. All right, because that's going to be a pivotal phrase that you're going to put on that bill. We're doing some real sorcery here, y'all. We're doing some real sorcery here. All right, we're going to add a sorcery to this document, and we're going to poof, voila, exchange it. Okay, we're going to poof, voila, exchange it. Okay, so this is what it is. All right, so on your bill, all right, for the folks that was able to locate the balance on the bill, for the folks that was able to locate the uh, principal's balance on the bill, all right, are you able to locate the name on the bill? When you locate the name on the bill, say here. All right, say here. Yes, big, yeah, big warlock. All right, big warlock. All right, yeah, say here when you, say here when you're there. All right, say here when you're there. Oh, yeah, we got folks that's endorsing their mortgage. There ain't no mortgage. We got folks endorsing their card notes. Ain't no card notes. All right, we got folks endorsing their whole lease agreements. Ain't no rent. We got folks endorsing child support. Ain't no child support. Has anybody... Oh, let me ask right here. Let me, uh, as as y'all get to find the name on the bill. Is any, has anybody on here been able to use any process to get out of child support? All right, I had a homeboy that called me before this call. He was like, hey, man, you... Um, you have any folks that was able to be successful with child support? So I would just, I, I, I want to do this for him so he can see that it's, it's working. Oh, you say you helped your brother do it? Okay, yeah, I'm about to say, there's a lot of folks, a lot of folks that done got out of their child support. All right, there's a lot of folks that got out of their child support. All right, so yeah, so just wanted to see. She said, my nigga just did. <laughs> Yeah, so it's, it's a lot of folks. Yes, look, it's it's probably whole pages that that's help folks get out of child support. And he was like, "Man, you mean to tell me I got to worry about child support no more?" I was like, "Bruh, you ain't gonna have to worry about that shit again." And I explained to him, "This is why you can get out of child support. This is why child support isn't real." I'm gonna get back to the bill, but this is why child support is real. A lot of not a lot of people can explain it. All right, when the child is born, when all of us were born. Okay, we had birth certificates. The birth certificate is what our mom signed with the hospital, right? All right, now if our dad was present, our dad signed the um, signed the application also. Look at me saying application. <laughs> because that's what it is, all right? So I'm sorry if I talk above. I'm going to try to break it down. All right, but the applic the birth certificate, okay, that is created between your mom and the hospital, all right? The hospital takes that application because your mom has to give a name. All right. After, after most most of y'all women overstand, or most of most of y'all mothers, all right. If you went through this process, you tell me if I'm lying or not. All right. Because that's how I like to do it. Like y'all, let me know if I'm lying or not. I'm not. A, I'm not a woman. All right. I don't been to a childbirth. Okay. So tell me if I'm lying or not. All right. When do they give you the paperwork to fill out the application for the birth certificate? Any mother that gave labor at the hospital, when did they bring you the application? Meaning the paper, y'all probably didn't even know it was the application. Right after the birth, right? Right after. Meaning you drugged up. You know what I'm saying? You all, you on all types of medicine like the next day. It's like really after the bottom scene where they push the papers right after you don't drop the damn baby. Like, God damn. 
That's why it's pivotal for the male to be present. You see what I'm saying? Now, if you remove the male, all right, and most times women have who? Their moms. Who's at most births? The mom. Or the sister might be there. You see what I'm saying? The dad may be there. You see what I'm saying? But most time, it's the mom that's there. All right? Now, the mom, she just went through this shit, so she's not going to be there like, hey, don't give my baby those papers. Wait till she... No. Some of y'all moms didn't even read the papers. All they did was ask you, hey, we just need the name of the baby. What's the name of the baby? And they try to make it seem like it's not forced, but hey, they're forcing you. Hey, we need the name of this baby because we already done started the business, but we have no name for the business. I hope y'all are following me, okay? I really hope y'all are following me for those that are on child support, okay? This is what it is, all right? So, as soon as you give them a name, they don't really give a fuck about the middle name. They only care about the first and last name. They'd be like, what's the baby's first name? What's the baby's last name? Because they're like, what's the baby's name? The baby is the business. The baby is the bond. All right, now you guys remember, y'all moms are thinking I'm talking about the baby with the limbs and the heart that's beating with the soul. I'm not talking about that baby. I'm talking about the paper baby that they're creating simultaneously as the live baby was born. There was two births that happened at one time. The B-E-R-T-H did I spell it right? Birth, B-E-R-T-H. And then there's the B-I-R-T-H. Do your own research on that. All right, so there's two different births. All right, there's a paper birth and then there's a live birth. That's why you have two birth certificates. All right, so anyways, so they asked for the name of the baby. The doctor has the name. He runs down to, the, to his office. We got the name for the baby. Now, granted, some doctors probably don't even know what the fuck they're doing. So I'm not here to say all doctors are in on it. I'm not here to say that because there's nothing to be in on. This is all investments. We just got to learn how to take advantage of the investments that we made. That's it. That's why child support isn't real because there was investment that was already made when the child was fucking born. All right. So let me show you this. and We're going to get back to the bill. All right. So this is what it is. All right, so when they run, the doctor run and go get that application, slaps that name on the application, the business has just been formed. You know, so if the baby is named John Smith, all right, John, John Tay Smith, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the business name is really John Smith, all right? The social is going to be John Smith. All the bills that's going to come in that baby's name is going to be John Smith. They just created a fictitious name using the baby. You see what I'm saying? So at birth, each baby starts off with $6 million. Each baby starts off with minimum $6 million. I forgot where I seen that from, so don't quote me. Just go on this... Uh, um, uh, I forgot the act. You can go look up the birth certificate. Um, damn, what is it? What is it? What acts? Fuck, I'm going I'm to I'm bring it back to you. But each baby starts off with a minimum six million because that's a title. Have y'all ever looked at a birth certificate before? And have you ever looked at a car title before and put them next to each other? They're the same. They're titles to vehicles. This title goes to a vehicle. This birth certificate goes to a vehicle. You see what I'm saying? So once you understand that, yeah, the Social Security Administrative Act, damn, I'm tripping. The Maternity Act, damn. You see what I'm saying? It's a lot of shit. All right, you say it's 1.8 million? Okay, so somebody said it's 1.8 million. It starts off with 1.8 million. All right, starts off with 1.8 million at birth. Now remember, interest is accrued as time go on. How many of y'all had was on child support and every month you didn't pay, it went up? That's interest. You see what I'm saying? That's interest. All right, so this is what it is. At birth, there was an escrow account that was created. Okay, there was an escrow account that was created that basically put all the funds on the behalf of that baby. Okay, only the beneficial owners can tap into those funds. Guess who the beneficial owners are? Who's the owner of a title? 
Who's the owner of the title? The one that signs it. Yeah, that's why we register. Exactly. The only ones that can tap into those funds are the beneficial owners, not the states. The state holds it. Y'all got to remember, the state is nothing more than y'all all coming to my crib and just dropping your money off with me. And you just saying, hold it for me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all leave and I'm just basically making money with your money. I've never lost any money because you just haven't came back and said, hey, bro, I'm ready to get that change back. I'm like, okay, but here you go. You see what I'm saying? That's all it is. That's what reversioners are. When you read the Sesta K. Vi Act, it talks about that. All right? That's all the R's, middlemen. All the, all the, all the R's holders, y'all. And we got to stop blaming them for thinking, oh, my gosh, the stage is ah. They're holders. They're borrowers. And they're going to hold that shit as long as possible. Meaning you're going to have to prove yourself. All right? You got to prove yourself. So only ones that can tap into that fund. So how you tap into those funds? You got to go after the state. All right? You got to go request from the state. Hey, on, I'm the beneficial owner of this bond. You let you give the bond number. All right? I'm the beneficial owner of this bond. All right? Here to tap into the title's rights and equity. Okay? That has been accrued. That has, that has accrued on this account. Because you're dealing with accounts. All right? You can even ask for, hey, can you send me a summary of this account. Alright. We're not talking about no 1099s. Alright. That's something totally different. Alright. You can do all this without. Hitting up the IRS. Yeah. It's two dates on the birth certificate. Hell yeah. You got your day of birth. And then you got your day of registration. Your day of registration. Always after the day of birth. Uh huh. All right, so yeah, so that's what it is. So um, that's why child support is not real um, because there's already an account. The state already got paid. You see what I'm saying? So when people, when men pay child support out of their pocket, it's no different from somebody paying a car note out of their pocket. You see what I'm saying? It's the same shit. All right, because you got to ask yourself, when you go online and see how much you owe, quote unquote, is there a negative in front of it? If it's not, that means there's money that's been in an account that's waiting for you to transfer, which brings me back to the bill. All right. For y'all that has found the name on your bill, you have found three locations. All right. You have found the principal's balance. That's the number that's on the bill that you should see right now. You see the principal's name. Okay. That's the name that's on the bill that you've been thinking is you. That's not you. All right. So I got two minutes on this. All right. So we're going to, when it's, when it's up. I'm going to post this, and then we're going to start part two. All right, so, so yeah, y'all, we're going to start another part two to this. So, uh, make sure y'all stick with us, stick with us. I don't know how many people we have on here. They're not showing me my followers or who was ever on here. But the focus that's in here, appreciate you for tapping in. All right, we're going to uh, continue this on the next live uh, right after this. Uh, we got like 100. We got a minute and 30 seconds left. All right, so keep your bill. Keep your bills. Keep your bills, keep your bills, keep your bill, all right? Because that's what we're going over, y'all. You're going to learn how to endorse your bill tonight. I didn't say you're ready to endorse your bill. I hope y'all are hearing me clearly, all right? You're going to learn how to endorse your bill tonight. That doesn't mean you're ready to endorse your bill, okay? And I know a lot of y'all going to have the battery on your back, and you're just going to say, I think I'm ready. That's all I really needed. He said that's all. And a lot of y'all going to get y'all shit shut down, okay? And we're going to troll you when you come back. When you say, hey, bro, I did what you said. I got my shit shut down. And I'm like, well, what did you read? And you're like, well, I didn't really, I, well, I, just, I just said what you said. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, we will come back. All right, so. Uh, 40 seconds left. So tap in, y'all. Don't go nowhere. Um, go ahead and get you something to drink or some shit. All right, we'll take a little quick break. Uh, we're going to be back in three minutes. Three minutes. Three minutes. All right. All right, see y'all there.